أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم The Tafsir of Surah An-Nas by Ibn Kathir In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. Say, I seek refuge with the Lord of An-Nas, the King of An-Nas, the God of An-Nas, from the evil of the whisperer who withdraws, who whispers in the breast of An-Nas. Of the jinn and annas. Allah said, Say, I seek refuge with the Lord of Annas, the King of Annas, the God of Annas. It starts off mentioning three attributes among all the other attributes of our Lord, the Mighty, the Majestic. These attributes are Lordship, Sovereignty, and Divinity. Thus, He is the Lord of everything the king of everything and the god of everything. So, all things are created by him, owned by him, and subservient to him. Therefore, he commands whoever is seeking protection is to seek refuge with the one who has these attributes from the evil of the whisperer who withdraws. This whisperer is the devil that is assigned to man. For verily, there is not any of the children of Adam except that he has a companion that beautifies wicked deeds for him. This devil will go to any lengths to confuse and confound him. The only person who is safe is he whom Allah protects. The Prophet ﷺ said, There is not a single one of you except that a devil has been assigned to him. So his companion said, what about you, O Messenger of Allah? He replied, Yes. However, Allah has helped me against him and he has accepted Islam. Thus, he only commands me to do good. In the story of Safiya, radiallahu anha, when she came to visit the Prophet while he was performing itikaf, that he went out with her during the night to walk her back to her house. So, two men from the Ansar met him on the way. When they saw the Prophet ﷺ, they began walking swiftly. The Prophet ﷺ called them to stop and mentioned that he is with his wife Safiya to let them know that he is not with any other women. So the Ansar said, Subhanallah, O Allah's Messenger, meaning that how can they doubt over the character of the Messenger? So the Messenger of Allah said, Verily, shaitan runs into the son of Adam like the running of the blood. And verily, I feared that the devil might cast something in your hearts. Allah says, The whisperer, Al-Waswas, who withdraws. Ibn Abbas said concerning this statement, The devil who is squatting perched upon the heart of the son of Adam, so when he becomes absent-minded and heedless, he whispers. Then when he remembers Allah, he withdraws. Sulaiman said, It has been mentioned to me that shaitan is al-waswas. He blows into the heart of the son of Adam when he is sad and when he is happy. But when man remembers Allah, shaitan withdraws. Ibn Abbas said, The whisperer, he is shaitan. He whispers and then when we obey, he withdraws. As for Allah saying, who whispers in the breasts of Annas. This is apparent that this refers to the children of Adam. But whether it includes whispering to both mankind and jinns, there are two views concerning this. This is because the jinns are also included into the uses of the word Annas in most cases. Ibn Jarir said, the phrase Rijalun min al jinn which means the men from the jinns, has been used in reference to them, so it is not strange for the word Annas to be applied to the jinns as well. Then Allah said, Of jinn and Annas. This refers to the whisperer who whispers into the breast of Annas. They are from the devils of the mankind and the jinns. So, does it explain the earlier statement, Who whispers into the breasts of Annas? The supporter of the second view considers that Allah explains this by saying of jinn and annas. 
This is an explanation that the devils of the mankind and the jinns whispers to the breast of Annas. This is similar to Allah saying, and so we have appointed for every prophet enemies, shaitan in among mankind and jinn, inspiring one another with adorned speech as a delusion, as in Surah an arnam Ayat 112. Ibn Abbas said, A man came to the prophet and said, O Messenger of Allah, Sometimes I say things to myself that I would rather fall from the sky than say aloud openly. The Prophet said, Allah is most great. Allah is most great. All praise due to Allah who sent shaitan's plot back to only a whisper. So it has not been acted upon as a bad deed. This is the end of the tafsir. All praise and thanks due to Allah, the Lord of all that exists. Please pray for me. What is your opinion? Let us know in the comment section below and if you like this video just hit to the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks.